grid, we have our energy producers, we have our energy storage, and we have our energy users. Um, but now we've added um, a third component or a fourth component, which is going to be our hydrogen. So um, as an example, we've got here, we've got our renewable energy. And you can take that renewable energy to produce hydrogen via electrolysis. And after the hydrogen is produced, you can store it. And um, that could be in various forms. That could be in um, a liquid form. That could be in a gaseous form. Um, or it could be in um, the GKN metal hydride form. And then whenever you're ready to use that hydrogen to create power, you could do that through a fuel cell or potentially even a hydrogen-capable turbine or engine. And then that's going to get um, fed into your microgrid load. And then that can be distributed to um, vehicles, homes, or other industrial users to provide power. But the benefit that hydrogen offers is not just the ability to store energy as an electron, you can also store the hydrogen as a molecule because the hydrogen could also be used directly into some of these applications. So there may be applications where you need hydrogen as a molecule, such as a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, potentially hydrogen heating in homes, um, or other industrial applications, such as um, a refinery or other industries that are already using hydrogen. So you can really use the hydrogen in two ways in a microgrid.